Hi guys! This is the second part where I'll tell you about the real meanings of the colors on the flag. And don't forget, it's still a joke. And the first country I'll tell you about will be Argentina. Blue means football. Children in this country first learn to play football, then walk. White is tango. Yes, after they've learned to play football and walk, they dance the tango. And sun means sun. No, seriously, it's very hot in Argentina. And this is Bahrain. Did you know that this country produces more pearls than all the others combined? So white color is pearl. Since Bahrain is a peninsula, there are a lot of beaches here. So the red ones are the beaches. Perhaps you'll be as surprised as I am, but more than half of the world's diamonds have been found in Belgium. So red is diamonds. Since there are a lot of diamonds in the country, then you don't have to worry about the quality of life. You can just eat chocolate. Yes, I'm serious. I think they eat it in the morning, at lunchtime and in the evening. Well, that's their business. But you know that black means chocolate. Yes, but sweet chocolate needs to be washed down with something. The Belgians think it's best to make beer. Yes, no kidding, they drink it more than the Germans. So yellow is beer. Oh, Canada. You know, a simple and concise flag, however very recognizable. And what is there to hide? Red is, of course, hockey. Not the easiest sport. But in Canada, there's hardly anyone who hasn't held a hockey stick at least once. Everything is simple with white, it means snow, in a straight line. There are a lot of them here. Well, do not forget about the yellow. Of course, these are sunny beaches. Notice how many beaches there are in Canada. Uh, personally, I don't. I cannot say that the flag of China looks somehow modern. But what can you do? But they have a strong economy. It's shown here in red. You may ask, why don't they live so richly then? It's just that there's so many of them. Yellow symbolizes the population of the country. But people do not complain, because they have a very developed democracy in their country. Uh, yes, it's shown in blue on the flag. Oh, I don't see blue. Just like the Chinese don't see democracy. And this is the flag of Georgia. This country has very hospitable people. Many times it seems that you are more likely to be fed here than scolded. Yes, food-wise, Georgia is very famous for its signature barbecue. It feels like they don't eat anything other than barbecue at all. So red is barbecue. With white, everything is clear. These are mountains. Georgia has a huge number of elevation changes. If you rent a bike, make sure the brakes are working well. Again, a flag with a cross, but this is the flag of a completely different country. This is Denmark. And if in Georgia you can't rent a bike anywhere, then in Denmark it's easier to get a bike than to have breakfast. Of course, the white color symbolizes the love of the Danes for the bike. Red is an even more significant color. It symbolizes the Lego constructor. It was invented in Denmark and they seem to have conquered the entire world with it. And in Denmark, cars are as cheap as the blue on the flag. Oh yeah, no blue. But it's okay, this is the country of bicycles. And this is the Estonian flag. Do you still remember Skype? Well, Estonians still use it. After all, they invented it. Perhaps because of this, one line on their flag is blue. Black is even more interesting. It symbolizes the refusal of the whole country to use the word OK. Seriously, you'll never hear this word from an Estonian. As for white, everything is simple. This is slowness. Although the Estonians themselves don't consider themselves slow, they long embrace the fact that everyone thinks so. Well, friends, that's our selection of flags for today. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you in the next video.